Hey, what's up, guys? Today we're watching funny Phineas and Ferb episode. And today we're joined by Kian Carlisle. What's up? If you guys want us to watch more Phineas and Ferb to get this video to 30,000 likes. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> the Phineas and Ferb fans will pull up all 30,000 of them. Subscribe or we'll spill milk on you. So the annual problem for our generation is finding a good way to spend it. I was going to say, when does Finn pull that chick that's like way too old for him? Is Vanessa a groomer though? Ferb is like 12, right? And Vanessa was 16. No, no, Ferb was eight and Vanessa was 16. What? He was eight? He was Wait, what? Eight. <laughs> and Dan Povenmire, the co-creator of the show, is like, you know, when I was 19, I was dating a 27 year old. It's pretty normal, guys. Don't, you don't have to worry about it. Well, I don't know, when I was eight, I was like, yo, Ferb got that sh locked. But now I'm like, that's weird. <laughs> Where do you find a mummy? Hidden deep in the bowels of the pyramids. I remember this episode because my mom would watch like every episode as they came out with me, but she was gone this night. So my dad watched this one with me and this was coincidentally the episode where they're with their dad. Dan Poppenmeyer was watching your ass. Undead mommy and me. Dad, can we? When their parents don't love them, so they want a mummy. Mr. Employee, sir, where's the mummy exhibit? Why are they all shirtless? This is such a weird fucking place. Why does only one of them have nipples? You're only allowed to have nipples for comedic effect for being fat. Like, that's the only situation where nipples are allowed. Who knew looking for mummies would be so much fun? This is a weird episode because normally Phineas and Ferb, like, invent things. But with this one, they're just, like, completely delusional going on this adventure where they think they have a mummy. It is really weird. And it's like Indiana Jones. Oh, my God. Where's digitally de-aged Harrison Ford when you need him? Dude, Candace has a terrible hairline. I never noticed. Well, she's got the same hairline as Phineas. It's just she grows her hair out, but all the hair just stems from the very, like, back region of her head. I need those, like, disturbing hyper-real renders of the Phineas and Ferb characters. No use, Perry the Platypus. I made this out of something that cannot be penetrated. Did Doofenshmirtz just make a condominator? That would be the perfect application of that. Something that cannot be penetrated. He could mass produce this. Yes, and then it would be 100% effective it'll never rip it doesn't matter how many holes you poke i cannot do a two inch what there might not even be such thing as a mummy yeah i'll be right with you i mean <gasps> me when i see a white woman ah! no i'm not gonna binge 10 seasons of the office with you this is like a Scooby-Doo moment. Phineas and Ferb is more ethnic than your average Scooby-Doo episode. Well, yeah, Phineas's head is shaped like a tortilla chip, so that's why. That would explain why he gets with Isabella, you know what I mean? Like, maybe it's like a genetic type of thing, you know what I mean? What? Hey, where's our mummy? Mummy? Mummy! Well, mummy has supper waiting for us at home. You know. Why is she stuck in the back <laughs> seat, though? That sucks. Chuck, it was open. Well, a musical act goes to the top of the charts with a catchy tune and meaningless lyrics. That's just a banger. That like, is a banger. What the hell? Did they release this shit on Spotify? And after that, they never sing again. And no one remembers them. She left out all the, like, coke and crazy s***. Yeah, she's gonna tell her eight-year-old children that, yeah. Now that I know Phineas and Ferb are eight years old, this, like, changes. I thought they were, like, 12. See, they act like they're 12, but for some reason, they're eight. How's the catchy tune coming along? Excellent. We'll be done by lunch. Inside Olivia Rodrigo HQ. Olivia makes her own music. What song should I copy today? <laughs> Dude, if Olivia Rodrigo made like one original song in her entire life, like maybe I would stand. You haven't even listened to the album. Oh, hi, Jeremy. <laughs> Are you auditioning too? Nah. I came to see this hot new band called PFT. Oh my God, it's Mitchell Musso. Wait. No way. That's Mitchell Musso, the guy who got arrested for public intoxication. Is Jeremy actually voiced by Mitchell Musso? Famous alcoholic. Ladies and gentlemen, the Furbettes. The Furbettes? He's letting his girlfriend be a Furbette? Phineas, I don't know about that. <laughs> I like how the Furbet character designs, it's like Isabella, the one that's actually a character in the show, and then the other three. Like Actually, that one's named Gretchen, that one's named Holly. <laughs> no <laughs> way! He knows, no. he knows! Kian knows the deep lore. Well, that's why we got Kian here. I will unleash an unprecedented reign of terror upon the entire- Your Puerto Rico mentioned. Puerto Rico mentioned. Did Zoofenschwarz want to destroy Puerto Rico? Is that his like real goal? That's his end game. Yeah, he has like a giant red circle around Puerto Rico right there. Mom! Zoofenschwarz, Sable, and Sorry, Perry 
a platypus. <laughs> the record scratch. They cut it off, man. I was jamming. Hand me the aux cord. You just played that on a loop. Uh, ma'am, you're gonna have to come back and pay for that. Yes, of course, officer. White woman privilege, though. Can we talk about that? How is she not getting shot in the street right now? This isn't even white privilege. This is pretty privilege because, I mean, she looks beautiful. Okay, can we be real here? Follow up single? Who do you think we are? Some two-bit hacks will keep writing new songs just because you fans have seen amounts of cash? Phineas and the third tones are strictly- Damn, they really sped run fan. We've still got this videotape of their performance. We can do live CDs, DVDs, podcasts. Heck, we can digitally recreate their images to make our own sitcom. We can digitally recreate their images to make their own sitcom. This is ahead of its time. But the actor strike is over, so that's cool. The tape! I love how Doofenshmirtz smashed through a brick building. The <laughs> only reaction they had was the tape. My tape! Well, you like to sing, right? Yeah. Then you shouldn't let your brother's fun ruin your good time. He's really pink. Like his, he looks like a hot dog. He's probably Australian. He has the most American Australian accent I've heard in my life. It's the one time Candace was an, an annoying bitch and played along for once in her goddamn fucking life. What is Ashley Tisdale doing now? Uh, she's doing Phineas and Ferb season five. Mom, Phineas and Ferb are doing another season. Let's go. Did Disney just have like one person who could sing in like the entire studio for like 10 years or something? Like no, they have a factory of alternating white women who are famous singers. Like, do you not understand the Disney like machine? Ashley Tisdale was the only one who wasn't too famous to do the cartoon. It's sad but true. There's a 104 days of summer vacation. I, I always envy this because Canadian summer vacation is shorter than this. Nah, that shit isn't even 104 days. No, we days. don't have 104 days. Wait, no, we get three months. So it's more like 90 days. I get two months. At this point in time, it was pretty typical for shows to get like 26 episode seasons and two seasons. So that'd be 52. Then they're 11 minute segments. So 104. So that's where the 104 comes from. Uh, dude, uh, no, what? That's what, how many episodes they thought they were probably gonna get and then they got like 400 episodes or so that's gonna be my cringy party conversation starter so did you know that in phineas and ferb when they say 104 days stacy it's been four days i'm not expecting prince charming to bring me a glass slipper or anything jack you basically have that with your disney princess poster you could just put a picture of like core jack and <laughs> i could put myself on there i'm in love with myself oh there you are come on boy here just take a seat Stay. He's so flaccid. Like, Perry is just like a flaccid little boy. If that's flaccid, I'm screwed, man. <laughs> <laughs> Ferb and I have invented a Perry translator so we can finally figure out what he's saying. That's great. I feel like you could say anything to Isabella and she would say, that's great. Like, we're going to blow up Puerto Rico. That's, that's great. great. Yeah, that's Susie's dog. <gasps> who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? That's how you know you're in a rich family. When the child has their own dog. It's not the family dog. It's their dog. You know what I mean? Most girls really aren't into stuff like this. Most girls. He's like, yo, babe, do you want to come over and watch me play Call of Duty all night? Like, <laughs> that's my idea of a romantic date. I don't know about you. I play Mario Wonder and she's wondering why the fuck she's there. Like, I'm not going to lie. That was kind of bars. I'm not going to lie. That went hard. Let's tell all the owners what their pets want. Starting with this little fella right here. This episode fully establishes that all animals are completely sentient and capable of critical thought. And then he's gonna go home and have like the fucking steak that his mom cooks for dinner. Phineas looks God in the eyes and says, I am your maker, bro. He does not give a fuck about it. He'll eat a dog right now. I've got a small cranial capacity. Look at me. I don't have opposable thumbs. I eat with my face. I sweat through my tongue. I'm a furry fleeping. I love that they have a gorilla in their yard. Where the fuck pet. did that gorilla go? There's an elephant here. There's an alligator. This is like he's fucking assembling no. Noah's Ark right now. It's day one at the furry convention, POV. The white woman at the furry convention be like. Uh, hi. Bro, this literally is Noah's, Noah's Ark. Ark. <laughs> it literally is Noah's Ark. Doof's Ark. Let's go, man in a <laughs> what is the most convenient thing in all of New York? What the fuck? Dude, it's not New York. It's the tri-state area. It's the hit city of Danville. Oh, fuck. Sorry, Danville. The most creative city of all time. This is Dan Povenmire's self-insert city. Next, the tip of a shoelace. Yes, yes, that little heart. Oh my god. Bro, it's it Agla, comes. dude. It's Agla. Don't, Don't forget no it, dude. Spoilers, Don't forget man. it. No fucking spoiler. Don't spoil this shit. Wow, 20 people email me the same video. 
I gotta check this out. Why is she holding the mouse like this? She's holding that shit She's sideways. a gamer. That's optimal, bro. That's literally optimal. Aglet, mom. Aglet, you too, Phineas. No, mom. The shoelace tip? How interesting. Moms just be bullshitting, man. Like, they, they just have to deal with all this bullshit all day. Like, my son just said the weirdest thing to me. All right. Because it doesn't matter. You can live a long, happy life without knowing the tip of the shoelace is called the... Uh... Aglet. It doesn't matter. This is kind of true, though. Like, every person our age would have lived their whole life without knowing what the fuck it's called without this episode being created. Now everybody, now everybody knows what it's called. Well, I, I just like the message of this episode. That's like, it's fun to know obscure knowledge. Like, it's just kind of fun. I love how Candace is so riled up by people knowing <laughs> what an aglet is. It's called a universal delete button. It can delete any file on the internet from every computer on the planet. That is incredibly useful. They should sell that to people who get canceled on Twitter. I'll give that shit to James Charles, bro. <laughs> What's an aglet? Verb, enlighten us. I love how they're raising awareness for it, like it's breast cancer. Yeah, Phineas and Verb could have cured cancer by now, but they're, they'd be talking about shoelaces. They just made a conscious decision not to. Well, they're aware that the government would kill them if they found the cure. Aglet. The promotion is yours. Aglet. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, Jack, start saying it. Aglet, Aglet, Aglet. I wish there was a viral video of me singing going around the world. I bet you'd become an Insta star. And this is what every 15 year old girl thinks. Well, this is even more true now because it's like they interview kids and like half of them, their dream is like, I want to be a YouTuber. Don't do it, bro. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, bro. It's not worth it. It's not worth the pain and suffering <laughs> of having to watch cartoons every single day. You know how hard it is to have to watch TV shows and then talk about them? It's fucking hard, man. Oh, this video is ruining my life, Perry the Platypus. I, I can't even go outside my own evil lair. Hey, look! It's that <laughs> idiot from the video! This is Dream at the grocery store, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your mask, buddy? Is this is an aglet for AIDS concert. They had an AIDS concert scheduled, but they read they just like canceled it to do an aglet one instead. It seemed more important. The aglet is more important. That makes sense. A G L E T. I get Don't it. Don't forget it. I love how it's like like Christian summer camp song. This might not be one of my favorite songs. Shut up. Shut up. They're gonna tie the world together because it's an aglet. You don't fucking get it, Court. Look, they're even doing it in China. During COVID, instead of singing like whatever bullshit, imagine all the people are some fucking bullshit. They should have sung A G L E T. Pedro Pascal singing aglet. Just a few. Anyway, here is mud in your eye. I just love that the fucking question mark showed up on the billboard, like... And I won't be needing this anymore! I'm free! Look! It's that idiot from the video again! Let's use mockery to keep him inside! <laughs> Doofenshmirtz responds to fucking hate comments, bro. Cyberbullying. Discovering something that doesn't exist hey. Or give it a monkey a shower I went to a uh, music festival in Virginia And I was just seeing this one band Which like seemed vaguely familiar But I didn't really know them And then they did the Phineas and Ferb opening And the crowd went fucking ham for it Shout out Bowling for Soup the Chronicles of Meep. Who is Meep? I don't even know who this character is. You'll you'll find out. You won't be disappointed. And the lineup. And it's a steel right. This is what the computer science kids do instead of playing like fucking sports, man. Like I would say that's more of like a physics or engineering side of things. Oh, hey, here's a package for you. <gasps> My bangaroo! Your what? My bangaroo! Oh, she's a Hello Kitty girl. Oh shit, she got fucking my my melody, bro. Frog. He's gonna be the cutest thing. You're just gonna. <laughs> that thing is fucked up. Cool. <laughs> this is so bullshit. That, that, that is how the episode starts. You get that that 2010 CGI here. That is cute. Hey, are you okay? They struck gold with Perry in the marketable plushie. They tried making another one, and I don't think anyone bought a plushie of this guy. This creature looks like such an old internet, like, kawaii character. He looks like something I would see on, like, OMG Pop. Let's fix us an alien spaceship. Meep! And they just play, like, the same sound clip over and over. There's no, like, multiple takes of it. It's just Lorenzo Lama said meep one time. Meep! <laughs> this is this is comedy gold. Comedy gold. I wonder what exciting mission we have for you today. 
Excuse me. Oh shit! That's why he's always like so distracted. Like he's 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 got a little uh, more pressing issues to attend to. Carl picked up his powder for him, bro. <laughs> Meep. He's the most adorable thing in the world. I hate Meep. I don't like Meep. I'm gonna be. I'm a Meep stand till I fucking die. I'm a Meep stand. I got a Meep tattoo on my on my prostate, man. I'm not gonna lie. I believe the answers are best expressed in backstory form. When I was a boy. Whenever I was a kid, this is what I thought Europe looked like. Because, like, this is the only way they show it in this show. This is what Europe looks like. That's what my family looks back in Portugal, bro. Long backstory short. I got a balloon. Oh, oh my this god. This episode is iconic. What the fuck? I tried to reach out and grab him, but... Have I got finished? And I never saw Balloonie again. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't even an evil plan. He just wants a balloon. <laughs> he just wants his balloon. Pick it out. Whatever do your dimension, you'll know what it's all Oh, Here shit. Here we go. Here we go. Yo. Yo. No, 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 I'm no, no I'm way. Eight. Yo. Yo, digging my ride from out of space. <laughs> Did Baby Ferb just riz her up? You're twice his age. You're twice his age. <laughs> and he's got double the fucking riz, bitch. It's so bad that she's into it. <gasps> I think I saw this one on the red carpet the other night. Oh shit, Meep's gonna beat the fuck out of someone. Oh, sorry. Your irresponsibility makes our jobs as security guards a million times. I love how they just put their hats on top of their furry costumes. Yeah, you're in big trouble. <laughs> Oh, I thought they just died. <laughs> um, Eviscerates them into dust. Although, I keep getting this weird cute interference from someone. The shipping, the shipping. Oh my god, I'm 10 years old and I need them to date so bad, but... Oh, uh, yeah. Genuinely, how many seasons does it take before, like, something actually happens? Well, they did the one flash forward episode where they get together. So that's the only episode where something actually happens? That's pretty much it, yeah. That's no clown. That's a space station. Oh my god, nope. That's nope. Jordan Peter, he ripped off Meep episode. Think about it, nope kind of sounds like Meep. Let's get that in there. I am known by many names throughout the universe. Well, two, mainly Mitch. Mitch McConnell? <laughs> he used to be powerful. Look at him. Wow, cool. This is a Rick and Morty episode. Can we talk about that? Well, Phineas and Ferb is just Rick and Morty for kids. Ah. Uh, but Rick and Morty is for kids, bro. Let's be honest. Uh, yeah, actually, the average viewer base of Phineas and Ferb might be older. Oh, man, what the? Oh, hello. We're right in the middle of a showdown, if you don't mind. It looks like Captain Mihawk or whatever his name is. <laughs> what? Hawkeye Mihawk. What? Because he has a British accent and he has a really long mustache. It's literally Hawkeye Mihawk. What? Oh, no, that's where I keep... It's you! Balloonie! <gasps> he captured what? Balloonie. It, it looks like that fucked up CG thing in Courage the Cowardly Dog that says, like, no one will ever love you or some shit like that. My real best friend is Perry the Black. <laughs> That was like so uncalled for. That, that's just kind of sad, man. That's just really sad. Don't be silly, Isabella. I took into account your cuteness and adjusted the cute meter settings accordingly from- No way, dude. Unspoken Riz right there. Autism Riz, Autism Riz. For when are they adding Meep to multiverses? Oh my God. Playing Meep is like Meta Knight and Brawl. Yikes. Children, thank you for <laughs> <laughs> It's a Markiplier! That sounds exactly like Markiplier. Ah, an alien monster! Get to the ship! Um, actually, that's my mother-in-law, so yeah, she's correct. Uh, let's get out of here! If you guys want us to make a video with our mother-in-laws... <laughs> what? Make sure you go subscribe to Kian. He makes awesome videos on a bunch of stuff that we watch on the channel. And subscribe to the hit channel, Spilling the Milk. I've heard they make good YouTube videos. I don't, I don't know about that. Alejandro Paredes, Atomic Leon, Bento, Kane Rivers, Kamalu, Cosmic Dega, Crystal Bunny, Daryl Herb, Diane Stalk, Frozen Spaghetti, Gabriel Granado, Gub Stargazer, Gummy Brain Rot, Gunny Snow Unison, Helio, I Pigged Red Hand, Isaiah Alford, Kamui, Catherine Wright, Night VDB, Leaf, Lilac Moon, My Artistry, Master Nate, Matthew Byers, Mauer, Solomon Graber, Native, Nick, Obama Gaming, Omega Waffles, Pitch and Witch, Him is Best Boy, Rain, Steven Sanchez, Sunny D, Tyrant Sills, Toast, Ultimate Parson, Bell Explicit, Victoria, Wyatt Line.